let's talk about what the smaller sellers or medium-sized sellers can do that they're, you know, that if your sales are down 50, 60, 70 percent, which is a significant drop, what can you do to offset that? So the first thing is Amazon uh, recently um, gave a couple of suggestions. Um, bear in mind that at the back end of your product descriptions, there's a keyword section. And that keyword section needs to be 250 bytes, not 250 characters. So if you need to uh, go to Google and type characters to bytes or bytes to characters, understand what 250 bytes mean. If you make it 251 bytes, Amazon completely ignores that. That's number one. Number two, you have to have reviews. And this is the part that sucks because you're not going to get reviews without sales and you're not going to get sales without reviews. You're not going to rank without reviews. So if I search for the term throw blanket, uh, I see Amazon's pins on there for, you know, $19 with 3,000, 4,000 positive reviews. But then my brand that has maybe 100, 150 reviews, I can't really compete because the velocity of new reviews for Amazon's product, because they're selling more because of this algorithm or another large seller, is a lot higher than the velocity of my positive reviews based on the volume that I'm doing. So this goes back to the paradox of the chicken and egg thing, right? So there's really not much you can do. Um, we don't think that Amazon is going to reverse this algorithm. And, um, and you just need to, if you can, you just need to wait it out. Uh, do smart ads on paid Amazon ads. Uh, try to get as much conversions as possible. Focus on the quality of your product and and hang in there. Well, going back to what you just said about the, the paid ads, mm -hmm. and I mean, stop me if you feel like I'm just coming out of left field, but it almost seems like they're trying to follow the same Google model for sellers with pay to play. If you're new to the game and you want to make a name for yourself on Amazon, mm -hmm. you can't do it organically anymore. You're nope. going to have to use their Amazon marketing. You're going to have to pay for those sales to get those reviews. And like you said, without reviews, you can't get sales and vice versa. Yeah. So you're going to have to pay to play now with Amazon for small and medium sized sellers. I mean, you're right. Not only that, they have the review program, the trusted review program where they charge you like, I don't know, a hundred something dollars, yep. I believe, per SKU where they push reviews to you. So they have mm -hmm. different monetization strategies. And again, Amazon is so big now that a small change is going to make a huge impact on a yeah. high percentage of sellers. Yeah. I don't really blame them for doing that yeah. because they, they have to limit it somewhat mm -hmm. uh, from people who are serious and not serious. Now, big brands already go to, um, they already go to, you know, Amazon supplier and, and that's how they send their products directly to Amazon. But I believe that there is still a, an opportunity, but your product needs to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Your And then you need to pay attention to it as a brand and you have to diversify your strategy, you have to have your website, you have to be selling on Amazon. That's why, you know, in the previous week, we talked about how to push sales for e-commerce. So Amazon is not the only option, yeah. but for the purposes of this um, uh, session here is if your sales have dropped, there's not much you can do right now. Um, but the best thing you can do is, you know, hang in there. Um, if you, if some of you have sent so much product to FBA, hoping that you were gonna get all these sales, during the holiday seasons, I'm on that boat as well, and we didn't sell nearly as much. So you might wanna pull some of that inventory back and try to disperse it on your websites or other marketplaces. Uh, if you can hang in there, hang in there, because uh, um, we believe that there will be other updates that will be um, that will be helpful for smaller sellers. Mm -hmm. Just keep getting reviews, uh, focus on getting positive reviews, focus on your ads and get those conversions. And there is still competition, but Amazon definitely made it a lot more difficult. Okay, if you have any questions, let us know. We're happy to help.